Hi, I'm John Peters. Let's talk about Clarksburg, my hometown. Clarksburg was established in 1785 and was named for General George Rogers Clark. It was also the site of Randolph Academy in 1785. Clarksburg was the supply depot of the Union Army from 1861 to 1865. General George B. McClellan had his headquarters here in 1861 until the Battle of Bull Run. And Clarksburg is the birthplace of General Thomas J. Stonewall Jackson. After a brilliant Mexican War record, he joined the Confederacy in 1861, earned his nickname and advancement in rank in the first battle of Bull Run, and he was killed at Chancellorsville. Clarksburg, the hub of public offices, businesses, and industry, was named the county seat on July 20th, 1784, by the Harrison County Court. And in the late 1940s, I shot some 16 millimeter footage of downtown Clarksburg, which I tried to save for posterity, but unfortunately I was only able to salvage just a short, short portion of several hundred feet of that film. Most of it deteriorated due to improper storage. I have a few minutes of the film which was transferred to videotape, and here are a few scenes. First of all, an overhead shot of Main Street looking from 4th Street to 3rd Street, starting at the Empire Bank. Now these shots go back to 1948 or thereabouts on a Saturday just before noon. Now you'll notice the usual crowd of watch and knife swappers on the courthouse plaza, an event that took place very frequently back then. I understand they came from several sections of the county to participate. And then you'll see an ambulance whiz by on his way to pick up a victim of an accident. The area where you'll see the small group of onlookers at the accident scene is at the spot where the Go Mart at the foot of Bridgeport Hill is currently located, right across from uh, Twin Oaks Restaurant. And then we go back to downtown Clarksburg, where we take another look at Main Street from the corner of 3rd and Main Streets. Now, at the end of this first segment is a short sequence showing the first Capital Airlines passenger service flight to Benetton Airport. The person doing the honors of christening the capital liner named Clarksburg is Mrs. Lewis A. Johnson. Okay, let's roll that tape.
Clarksburg, my hometown. In 1929, Cliff Selden wrote a song which was sung by Dick Dolan for the Kiwanis Club. It was also featured at the 1933 World's Fair in Chicago. It's called Clarksburg, my hometown. Sorry, folks, uh, I'm not going to sing it, and rightfully so, because I could never belt a song like Dick Dolan or Meyer Siegel could. However, I would like to share the lyrics with you goes something like this. Some folks think they're lucky if they're bred in old Kentucky or in 1010 Tennessee. And nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina. But sentiments don't mean a thing to me. I never will be found Alabama bound. Get me right, just put that down. I've got my own opinion. I'm a true blue West Virginian and Clarksburg is my hometown. Clarksburg, pride of the mountain state. Clarksburg, birthplace of heroes great. When the band plays Dixie, how my heart thrills. To me, it just means Clarksburg, the jewel of the hills. There's where they smile when they greet you. Everybody's tickled to meet you. All of my days, I'll be singing the praise of Clarksburg, my hometown. Clarksburg, we produce coal and gas, tin plate, marbles, and window glass. There's not a better town on the old B&O. We're chuck full of pep and raring to go. The West Coast has uh, climates and earthquakes, Florida mosquitoes and big snakes. We don't give a darn. We've got chicken and corn in Clarksburg, my hometown. There's where they smile when they greet you. Everybody's tickled to meet you. All of my days, I'll be singing the praise of Clarksburg, my hometown. And now I'm going to show you a film of the original Coca-Cola bottling plant in Clarksburg founded by the elder Thomas Lee. I'm told the beginning of this film dates way back to pre-World War I days. Matter of fact, the date on the building on Fifth Street, uh, which is still standing, has the year 1914 at the top. The segment progresses to the 40s and 50s. Okay, now, watch this. Thank you. 